Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a shop or a drop where I go through Trend Mood's Instagram page and I go through all of the new releases that I just feel like talking about and I tell you my thoughts on them, whether or not I will be shopping them or dropping them from my list. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. <laughs> Today is one of those days where I kind of am in a bit of a funk. I'm feeling a little bit unproductive. I haven't done so much. It's four o'clock. Usually I'm filmed and edited by now and I'm just getting started. I don't know. It's just one of those days, I guess. I put on makeup, so I'm feeling a lot better. That's it's always a good therapy for me. So that's good. Um, yeah, Trend Mood, I feel like, has just been so blah lately, of course, given the current situation. Lately, though, there has some been things popping up on my feed. So I figured while I'm in a funk, let's just talk about makeup to get myself out of it, you know? Also, just the things I've been seeing, I'm like, mm. I gotta film a shopper drop. I'm not sure if I talked about this in my last shopper drop, but you know, I apologize if I did, but whatever. All right, so the first one I wanna talk about is Shantikai's new summer collection. Now this is currently available. There are two cheek, cheek, and highlighter duos, and then you also have what looks like four lipsticks. But anyways, this looks so beautiful. Again, Shantikai and their packaging, just so incredibly cute. It is a very luxe brand and I'm really starting to get into Shantikai. I'm enjoying their products a lot. I seriously was going to shop this product, but I did decide to drop it from my list only because I am on a low buy right now. And as much as I would love to buy these products and review them, they are so expensive that I feel like the payback that I would get just wouldn't be enough. Like they're really expensive. Even though I allow myself to buy things on my low buy if I'm going to review them, for me, it's just not as valuable I feel as other products could be. So so I'd rather invest my money in other items. So I am dropping that from my list, but oh my gosh, you guys, I am so interested in it. It looks really gorgeous. Those cheek duos look phenomenal. And also I'm a big fan of Shantikai lip products in general. So definitely hurts me to say no, but I do think that's a beautiful collection. So it is available right now though, if you were interested. Um, La Mer is also coming out with a radiant skin tint. This has SPF 30. Uh, Right now, it does not seem to be available unless I scroll up and I miss it. I'm not going to be purchasing this. I'm dropping it from my list. I really enjoy my La Mer the Soft Fluid Foundation. I think La Mer has really beautiful products, but I also they think that they do have a mix of products that you're kind of buying for the name. This actually looks really good, but I just feel like to pay a lot for just a skin tint, I'm not too sure about. So I'm not going to get this. I'm dropping this from my list. My Dior Summer Skin Foundation is actually going to be here tomorrow. So that's a skin tint that I did get behind. I don't think I'm going to purchase the La Mer, but it is available right now in the UK if you would like it. And I'm actually very intrigued by this product. I definitely would not mind watching some reviews on this product. Also something that reminds me of that, but is definitely way more affordable. It looks like L'Oreal has come out with a tinted water cream, which again, a lot of brands are coming out with these tinted products because of the time of year. And this is it's coming soon online but somebody saw it in stores and honestly this is a product that I would ponder shopping if you guys were very interested in a review. I don't really do too many reviews on more affordable drugstore products but this is a product that I do see myself purchasing as I'm at the store and I see it not on my low buy. Again if I'm not doing a review on it I'm not gonna buy it. If the low buy weren't happening I would purchase this because I like a lot of different drugstore foundations. I really do and I'm testing out a lot of the skin tints and like tinted moisturizers in my collection right now because I do want to do like my favorite skin tints lightweight base products for the summer so that would be something I would be interested in trying just gonna pass on it and then it looks like Lorac is coming out with a luxe diamond golden hour collection looks really gorgeous it is actually available right now on the Lorac website it will be coming to Ulta and you have a palette which is highlighters you have some glosses some eye gloss trios really glowy stuff I think Lorac is really trying to revamp their brand come out with more fresh products that are more trendy and uh, kudos to them because they did need to do that. 
nothing in this collection really screams out to me, so I am going to be dropping it from my list. It does look pretty though, but nothing exciting and nothing that we haven't seen before, honestly. And I'm going to talk about this really quickly, not really too much, but obviously Charlotte Tilbury has released her bronzers and the new quad as well for the eyes. I did do a full review and everything on these products, so of course I did shop them. You guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. I know you guys love Charlotte Tilbury, and these products are beautiful. Make sure you check out my review to see my full in-depth thoughts on them, but in if you were curious about them, they are very, very good. And then, of course, I had to talk about this. Pat is coming out with the Divine Rose 2 palette. I am so excited. So this is actually going to be available June 15th at Sephora, and it will be available, I think, May 29th on the Pat McGrath website. I'm gonna be fighting some people to get this palette, you guys, and I'm gonna get it in the limited edition pink palette. I'm thinking of giving my mom my old Divine Rose palette so that I can buy the bundle with the pink packaging because I need it, you guys. I really, really do. And this palette might be my new favorite. Like this, just by looking at it, there is potential that this could be my favorite palette, you guys. It looks so gorgeous. I like it way more than the original Divine Rose and the original one is really beautiful. But from what I can tell, like I have a good feeling about this palette. I'm so excited for it. Also in the collection, there are going to be some lip trios, and I think looking through it, I had most of the items already, so I won't be getting those, but the palette, absolutely, heck yeah. And then also, House Labs has come out with a new eyeshadow palette, and everything in the past that House Labs has come out with, I have not been interested in it at all, to be completely honest. So this was available May 19th, so it is available now. I think this is a very interesting palette. I think it's a nice play on different colors. It's really fun. I'm attracted to this. I really am. Unfortunately, I just haven't had much interest in house anyways, and I, I just don't want it. So I'm dropping this from my list, but I have to say, in my opinion, this is the best thing that Lady Gaga has come out with in her line, but I don't know, like... I just, I'm not interested in the line at all. Um, I did also get a lot of questions about the cremated palette and my thoughts that Jeffree Star Cosmetics has come out with. It is available at this point, though I do believe it's sold out. And I was going to purchase this because I do review his products sometimes on my channel. I'm a Cool Tone fan. I know all of my subscribers who also like Cool Tones, you guys are like, so are you gonna get this? Unfortunately, I think they're... <laughs> People were acting crazy. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I always get crazy comments whenever I talk about a Jeffree Star product or review it. And you know what, that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I understand both sides, absolutely. But people were like threatening my job with this one. I don't know. I, if I was getting crazy messages before I even purchased the palette, I could only imagine the crazy messages I was going to get after the palette. I don't really know the situation, you guys. Honestly, like, <laughs> I don't pay attention to that crap. I just know I was getting messages where people were telling me I was immoral and I was going to lose my job if I reviewed this palette. And I was like, first of all, I'm not. But anyways, that's why I'm not reviewing it because people are crazy. Okay. And then I also did get a couple questions about the Lunar Beauty collection that came out from Manny MUA. I passed on this. I dropped this from my list. I don't need another blush palette or anything in this collection. But that blush palette is absolutely gorgeous though. I can see why people would want to purchase it and why you guys were asking me about it. I love blush. I love the look of this palette. Again, low buy, not going to get it. But it is a really gorgeous palette. And I can see myself definitely seeing this at like a Morphe store one day and deciding to pick it up. But for now, I'm passing on it. and don't really have any interest in reviewing it. Bobbi Brown has also come out with the Summer Glow Collection, which I think is weird that they came out with this because they came out with that Flower Girl NYC collection and that one never really fully released and I was very interested in purchasing that and then they came out with this and this really pretty honestly like I have more interest in the flower girl NYC products but this does look really gorgeous so this is available online and they have a highlighting powder in warm gold this looks like it would be way too deep for my skin tone so I wouldn't get that bronzing powder duos those I'm interested in the lighter shade I feel like would be beautiful and then oil infused glosses which are so and I wouldn't get any of those. So the only thing that really interests me is the duo and that's the last thing I need. So this is a beautiful collection. I think they did a nice job with it. It's very summery. I'm dropping it from my list, but it is very gorgeous. Did you guys see this? None of us really knows what this 
this is, but whatever it is, I like what they're doing. I can actually see this though being very difficult to actually be workable. It's just pretty to look at, but I think as far as being functional, this doesn't have it. Um, yeah, I just see a lot of issues with application for this one, but it's really, really pretty, really summery, and whatever they're putting down, I would pick it up. <laughs> so I actually really do like that, but it's probably not the most functional thing. And then Marc Jacobs has a collection and a new brow product. This is online, I think. Well, obviously I didn't buy it. It says it will be available June 2nd on Sephora. And I gotta be honest, this eyeshadow palette, I'm digging it a lot. Like I'm thinking about picking that one up. They have a new brow product, which, what is this? One side is a soft powder-like pencil and the other side is a tinted gel. Honestly, I haven't picked up a brow product in a long time. I wouldn't mind picking that up. We have some eyeliners. I won't get any of the eyeliners because I have so many and they're so expensive. And then a mascara. I might have to shop that brow product and that eyeshadow palette. Those look really, really pretty, you guys. I'm into this. I like the colors of those. They look very warm and bronzy and just like something I could get down with this summer. So I will be picking that up. Well, not 100% sure. I want to sit on it first, but those are catching my eyes to where I'm like, I really like would not mind to pick those up, you know? Urban Decay is coming out with the Ultraviolet palette, and I appreciate that they're really mixing up their color stories. I really do. But over the years, Urban Decay has just not been doing it for me, and it really sucks because I'm just so bored with this. They need to do something different, something innovative. Back in the day, I remember Urban Decay was one of my very first eyeshadow palettes and they had this old school cool original vibe to them and they just don't have that anymore and I just remember the brand being so fun and it like where did it go and I'm a purple palette lover as you guys know and this should excite me but it doesn't they need to change it up they really do I just I don't know get over it with the naked palettes <laughs> do something different please <laughs> And I'm actually considering this, you guys. Elf Cosmetics is coming out with a collaboration with Jay Kessa, and it is just this completely, basically, rainbow palette, and it's going to be $20, and it will be available yesterday. <laughs> okay, so May 25th, it was available for early access Elf members, and May 27th, it will launch online at the Elf website, and then the 29th at Ulta, May 31st in stores. Honestly, I might have to pick this up. I like the collection a lot. Won't use those colors a lot, obviously, but I do want to support her. I do really like her, so I need to actually write this down I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow because I want to support her and I like how she went really bold with this collection I like the different textures that she put in here I'm I'm into this I really like this you can get really monochromatic looks okay yeah I'm getting that I wasn't going to but in this moment I definitely decided to okay and this one is what kind of sparked this video for me where I was like huh that's new uh, I need to film a shopper drop so YSL is coming out with these palette clutches and they are so cute you guys now the color stories maybe not I don't know I'm definitely think I'm gonna get that bottom one that's the one that's color story really speaks to me these are coming soon no launch date but I, I think I'm gonna shop that bottom one with the yellow and the purples and the pinks I love the packaging on this it's so luxe and beautiful I don't have too much from YSL Beauty and I don't think I have a single eyeshadow from them so I think this could be a fun video let me know what you think but I I I uh... I think I'm gonna shop that. And the last item that I see is from Milani and it looks like they're coming out with a Make It Last setting spray with sunscreen in it. That's pretty cool. That's something I'm going to run out and buy, but I did like the original. I think it, it reminded me of Urban Decay, the All Nighter setting spray, and it's affordable. And I mean, I don't think this is something, like I said, I'm not gonna rush out and pick it up, but if I needed a setting spray, I would pick this up in the store. I don't need a setting spray, so I'm dropping it from my list, but the original is good. So if you can add some sunscreen and SPF to it, why not? All right, guys, that is it. That is all I have for this time of Shopper Drop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, not too many crazy things have released, but still fun to talk about them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.